All right, guys, so I am intentionally starting this video in a dark scenario. I want to show you guys how weak this LED light is um, inside my newly bought Bamboo P1S, okay? And now I'm gonna turn on the light and we can talk about the P1S. All right, here we go. Much better, right? Um, so the LED light is one of the things that I don't like about the Bamboo Labs P1S. This is the second day I've owned the P1S and I am already loving this printer so much. So much so that I want to address one of the biggest um, dislike that I have about the P1S, which is that puny LED light. The greatest thing ever about having a micro -sincher uh, near you is you can literally go into the store and pick up some useful kits to upgrade the P1S and this one being the Pandalux LED upgrade kit okay so it's a full kit um, that works for the P1 and the X1 so I have the P1 here and uh, in a little bit once the my print job finishes we're gonna come back and we're gonna upgrade this puny LED light. And I'm hoping this upgrade kit is gonna bring a lot more usability or the visualization part to the interior of this printer. This is what the LED looks like out of the box. Um, and they, they did give you a installation instructional video barcode here. So if you want to take a look, you can probably follow this. And uh, again, before the print job finishes. So the printing has finished. Now we can actually come back here and start uh, probably take the old LED out and put the new LED in there. I'm really excited to try to see the difference. And uh, so just taking a closer look at the provided LED itself, the shape is kind of angled down. So when you put it on the wall, it's angling down, showing more of or illuminating whatever is under there. Um, this looks like a some sort of extension. So maybe you could hook more than one of those lights, maybe. And uh, here is the, uh, a power cable. Some uh, looks like electric tape, but I'm not entirely sure. And some double sided stickers. So apparently, um, I don't have to remove the original LED light. All I have to do is actually magnetically attach this light to the front underside of the frame. Um, and then connect this little piece of things with a little extension cable and use this little adapter to convert um, the lighting over here. So I think the first step I need to do is actually, it says, remove this um, front cover. So this is what it looks like with this protective cover removed. It's actually a rather thick foam secured by some electric tape, okay? So, and I rotated my printer so now it's easier to see. This is where the protective cover was before. There's a USB port right there. Um, we need to actually disconnect this little LED light because that's the original LED light. Okay. So with this disconnected, we will then um, get the new light over here which again, just make sure the angle is correct. You want this to be sitting this way. This, that's the front, okay? So, and I believe it magnetically attaches. So let's see if it actually stuck on the top. Oh yeah, quite nice. So that's what it's gonna look like at the top. Very, very nice. Now, all I have to do is route this thing through the hole there's a hole on the frame right here to the front and I believe um, there is a 
adapter that we need to uh, actually put on and convert. So let me do that really quick. So this is how I connected uh, the LED board. So the LED, again, LED light is magnetic. It just literally sits right there. And uh, the hole is through here, okay? But it does look like I was connecting the wrong LED uh, because this is the original LED right here. And according to the instruction, it's not recommended. So what I'm gonna do is actually disconnect this and make sure I am connecting the new light. Uh, even though there are connectors to connect both old and new, again, I got the correct light um, wire hooked and I just hit the LED light from bamboo to the side. This is what it should look like. It's, it's going a crisscross kind of a pattern. If you have two lights connect next to each other, you probably by accident connected the original the wrong light cable and when this is done just hide it somewhere at the corner as the instruction says and then put the this piece back on there to cover it nicely from the heat and you are done all right i put the uh, protective cover back on there um i mean it's not the absolute perfect fit but i think it should just uh, shield the heat for those parts um rather good and i pulled out that little electric black electric tape and you just pretty much just pushed all the additional cables down there and and hit it behind you can see the connector is there and they are not in any way gonna be uh, bothering the actual printing process and uh, so that's that's the entire process those feet are optional it's magnetically connected at the bottom so you can actually adjust it whichever way you like and now I'm gonna actually just uh, close this thing, put the glass cover back on there, and we'll do a, a light um, brightness comparison. That would be um, the definitive result to show you guys whether this, uh, this LED light upgrade is worth $9 or not. Okay, so connect the power all right as promised i want to turn the light on and get a feel for myself and also for you guys to see if this is going to make a difference to the printing surface or printing area here we go wow wow i should be able to put the current image and uh, the initial image of with the puny bamboo LED lights side by side. This is night and day, okay? Like I didn't even do any kind of exposure compensation. This is how bright the light is. It even illuminated the entire front area. If you are walking around at night, much, much safer now. Before it was just a super dark um, light at the top. I mean, people could argue that I didn't have the um, have the plate raised all the way to the top. So we can move the plate. I mean, we could probably do a time lapse and include it over there and uh, show you guys that this light is just a lot, a lot brighter. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And again, this never happened before. Now I got a I got a safety light in front of the printer, which is great. Okay, and uh, so that concludes the installation and uh, first impression video for the. Um, let me turn on the actual light for the Pandalux LED. Let's refocus LED upgrade kit. Okay. Um, Definitely worth that $8.99 asking price, if you ask me. Makes the uh, the whole cage a lot more brighter and a lot more usable um, in terms of visualization uh, of the printing process and the printing area. I'm gonna conclude this video and I'm gonna include a time-lapse. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button 
And if you like to know more about 3D printing, you should subscribe to my channel and join me on this journey, learning about 3D printing, improving on 3D printing process, learn how to model, as well as maintenance and uh, upgrade tips for the Bamboo Labs uh, 3D printers. That includes the P1S and also the Optocom H2D. Okay, so thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. But stay here for the time lapse.